the Los Angeles River continues to rage uh, down through the LA Metro, flash flood warnings through the Santa Monica Mountains, and this had a flow rate approaching 40,000 cubic feet per second overnight. Many people say it's the biggest flow that they've seen in 37 years out here. A lot of flooding in the urban areas, and especially in the Santa Monica Mountains, where about eight to 10 inches of rainfall happened last night. Rainfall totals up there could easily exceed a foot after today's rainfall, as the plume of moisture with this atmospheric river is parked over the LA basin, including the LA Metro. Uh, forecast models show at least one to two inches here across the lower elevations. Greater rainfall totals today on top of everything that's already fallen. So because soils are so saturated, anything that falls is gonna go straight to runoff and likely lead to life-threatening flash flooding. And that's why there's still a high risk by the Weather Prediction Center here across the LA Metro and into the San Bernardino Mountains. The San Bernardinos could get absolutely hammered. Areas up here, Big Bear, could see 15 to 20 inches of total rainfall from this potent atmospheric river. And this is just gonna continue uh, to stream across Southern California. The rainfall impacts will subside tomorrow, but the snow will continue across the higher elevations as that cold air begins to filter in. Just minutes ago on this bridge, there are about four or five fire trucks here doing swift water rescues. There were some homeless people out here that needed to be rescued as this torrent developed uh, yesterday evening and also today. The big flooding, all this water flowing toward the Pacific Ocean here, downtown Los Angeles, definitely makes the ocean waters a little bit dirtier out there, certainly. Uh, but the atmospheric river definitely uh, giving this area some much needed rainfall. The problem is a lot of times it comes all at once here in the winter in California. So definitely stay off the roads if you can. Turn around, don't drown, especially in those mountainous areas, and be safe because a dangerous day again here across Southern California. After dark. Oh, if you saw where I was sitting, you wondered why. I mean, oh. Oh. No. I would have liked to have been in there. See it. Yeah. That's crazy.
more damage here in the Beverly Glen area. This is some higher terrain on the eastern edge of the Santa Monica Mountains, and it has deposited boulders, mud, debris, everywhere from old burn scars in the area as well. And the Santa Monica Mountains have been hit hard by this atmospheric river with eight to 10 inches, a gauge, rain gauge indicated, even up to a foot over some of those higher peaks across the Santa Monica Mountains. And there's a lot of steep terrain out here as well. And that wind was orthogonal into the transverse ranges, mountain ranges coming in at a 90 degree angle. And that dumped out a lot of moisture, squeezing out all the moisture, rainfall rates an inch to an inch and a half per hour. And we're still getting about a half an inch per hour out here right now in the higher terrain just to the north of Beverly Hills. The flash flood warning continues here as we're starting to get another moisture surge. And it looks like this precipitation is even more convective. So I think that the rainfall rates are gonna be even higher as this next plume comes in. And that's gonna to lead to some more life-threatening conditions, mudslides, debris flows, flash flooding, boulder falls in the middle of the road. And all those things are making it very difficult to travel across the higher terrain in the Los Angeles Metro. A ton of landslides as well that are happening, starting to erode the foundations of a lot of homes that are along the steeper terrain as well. So a very dangerous day here across the mountains of Southern California. You can see a lot of crews are out here uh, trying to repair the roads, trying to get the mud out of the, the roads, and also uh, repair some of the power outages as over a million people are without power from this atmospheric river event with those winds gusting to hurricane force, especially further north along the coastline up a little bit closer to the Big Sur area. Big time winds yesterday with that atmospheric river, but the impacts from extreme hydrology continue today across Southern California. Very dangerous day continues through the evening.